Hey everybody, it's Jay Boone. Hey, it's also Sternhund. And right, and we're gonna cast this game. Okay, yeah, casting a game. That's what we're here for. Yeah, I almost forgot. Casting a game with Caster and, and Teller. Caster and Teller uh, on Whirlwind, Lawful Evil. Lawful Evil Whirlwind. Speaking of Lawful Evil, I just cut off someone's hand. Oh, nice. Uh, why did you do that? Uh, you know, it's just what I do. Like, sometimes I see a player just, you know, sitting there. I'm just like, I'm going to cut off his hand. And I'm going to make a very <laughs> gratuitous blood stain to accompany it. Fucking grief and ass DM. Yeah, I know. DM powers. Um, so we got purple caster, top left. We got not purple Protoss Taller in the, um, bottom right. Yes, and Taller already crying. Crying about not being ready. But, uh... <laughs> But then being pouty and just being like, we're going to just play then. Right. <laughs> Aster was all friendly. Uh, you sure? You sure? You sure? <laughs> I'll sign up. Are you sure? Yeah. But Tal is mad. He's really mad. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, but see, now when he loses, he can say that um, because Caster cheat. Yeah, no, Caster is obviously like a giant fat cheater. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, you definitely. can't trust Canadians. No, not at all. Not one bit. You know, their uh, their cybernetics research is like far beyond ours. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, their whole army is actually cyborgs. So uh, yeah, they're making workers. What do you know? Um, and oh, hmm, I got this little fraps in the corner. Let me get rid of it. Let's see. Oh yeah, can't be having that fraps thing in the corner. Yeah, there we go. Okay, fraps yeah. thing should be gone mid recording. Um. So now you won't see the frames per second. All right, so we've got workers. We've got a gateway. We got an assimilator. We got same exact sh from shit from Taller, except no simulator. And we got a probe in a base, or about to be in a base. I found you. What'd you say? <laughs> there it goes. I said I found you. It just I said it in a way. Oh, okay. So okay. yeah. I'm at a, I'm I'm probably a little bit behind you in this cast because I'm I'm actually at Fort Knox, Kentucky right now. Um, whoa! What is this? Wait! What is what? Wait! Whoa! Whoa! There is a proxy pylon all up in Caster's base. Caster has to pull all these probes. And for for no reason. Oh wow! I don't know how I feel about that. He did that literally just to pull probes off the line. Well, let's see. Caster lost. I mean, Tower lost 25 minerals for that. And uh -huh. Caster, I think Caster probably lost more than 25 minerals reacting to that. That was a lot of probes he pulled off. That was pretty good, actually. Uh, and, I mean, there was no, there's no forge. I mean, nothing I mean, to follow that up. I know, I like that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Good job, Tyler. Yeah, good. hooray. Right, I hope you win. Yeah, me too. Right, so anyway. Yeah, so anyway, I'm in Kentucky. I'm in Fort Knox doing this school, so I'm living in this hotel. Oh, no way. Which is like the shitty uh, army base hotel. Oh, okay. So, and there's nothing to do and no place to go. So it's not like I can get dressed or get ready to go out. So I'm just like, you know, chilling out in this grungy room in my underwear. <laughs> watching StarCraft. Great visual right there. <sighs> yeah, you know. So, uh, so but yeah. anyway, the internet's really slow because it's this free hotel internet. Oh, yeah. Free hotel internet is the worst. Yeah. But it's better than no internet. Though in my experience, for some reason, like... You know, you can go to, like, the High Regency, the Hiltons, and they all have really shitty internet. But for some reason, La Quinta's have amazing internet. Like La Quinta, you say? Yeah, La Quinta has amazing internet every time in my experience. Like, uh, last time I got, like, 20 down, 8 up, and it was, like, completely free. You just log on, you know, no bullshit. It was incredible. Um, but expensive hotels will charge you, like, 10 bucks for, like, the shittiest internet. It's such a ripoff. Um, we got a proxy pylon by Caster. We got... A stalker that's um, peeking up here. Yeah. And we got a mothership core, so Caster's gonna do some early aggression, obviously. Um, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Yeah, Taller building his third gateway and uh, another pylon. He's already got his mothership core. Let's uh, see. Caster's mothership core is all the way, all the way across the map, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there's his little sneaky pylon. Yeah, 
So they're just kind of like walking up to each other, then walking away, you know, doing the dance. And Teller going for a fourth gateway, so he's four gating. Um, Caster is also. He's no, wait, no. Got a third gateway and, and a, a Stargate. Um, Stargate. Stargate. Right. Yeah. He's going to be doing some Going for that gateway. really shitty unit, the Oracle, that, you know, is pointless to have. Because totally it overpowered. Just... Totally overpowered. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that thing kills workers so fast. There's nothing that kills workers that fast. It just flies it's over fast. the worker, and the worker would just explodes. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So Cash just got a proxy, or not a proxy, but a, a pile in a good location on the south part of his base, as well as his east to, I guess, help get advanced scouting. And here's that oracle. Is he going to go for another one? He usually likes to go for, like, it seems like he always gets, like, two or three before he uh, pushes those oracles in. Well, I feel like oracles aren't as good against Protoss, maybe, as they are against uh, Zerg, because you have a lot more that shoots up Protoss. Right. More. That's a technical term for it. The more stuff that shoots up. <laughs> more stuff that shoots up. Shooting up is uh, it's um, it's an important skill that Zerg doesn't have until tier two. Yeah, but don't shoot up too much. That's that, that that's bad for your health. <laughs> um. So let's see. We've got Talar with a Stargate of his own. Um, oh, here comes number two. And yeah, here comes number two. These guys have, uh, have quite a bit of energy on them um, when they spawn. Do they? Yeah, the second guy already has like 75 energy. I feel like that's a lot. <laughs> so we got ridiculous. A, a it's it's all ridiculous. Um, Caster has spotted, uh, or Talor has spotted Caster's army in the middle of the map. Right. And, moving and, to and now these it. oracles are moving in. Mm. There is that phoenix, so I guess it's not going to be extremely bad, but this is looking pretty painful, though. I feel like he could have kept on with his army, though. Right, and, yeah. Uh, and, and, and really hurt Caster's army while also dealing with the oracles. So um, Caster killed nine workers for two oracles. I don't know. Is, is that a worthwhile trade? Like, nine workers, two oracles? I'm, I'm sure it is. Uh, nine workers, I mean, over the course of time, that, that adds up to a lot. Oh, it definitely does. Um, and Caster's looking to move in. Right. Here we go. But at the same time, Tyler's got a pretty beefy army, so... Yeah, actually, their armies both look pretty beefy. Um... I, I think that uh, Tyler's armory is better equipped to deal with Caster's army, uh, force fields notwithstanding. Right. Um, let's see, so they both expanded. Uh, Caster has a photon, cannon has a mineral line. He doesn't want the oracles to come back at him. And Tyler is transferring all of his workers? A good amount of them, are ya? And uh, let's see, what else? What else? What else? Um, we got a second Stargate from Caster. That's kind of interesting. Well, I mean, Caster is is way ahead on income right now. Um, oh, absolutely! Look at that uh, difference in the harvester count. A fourteen difference. That's huge. Yeah, without some sort of play to, to harass or really really get back into the worker count, I don't know if uh, Teller's going to be able to get back into this. Well, let's see. Teller definitely has the bigger army, um, oddly enough. So, um, actually, now would be a good time for Teller to push. It's just a matter of, like, does he know, does he have enough information to, like, draw that conclusion? And um, that's... I'm going to go with no. Yeah, probably not. Um... Yeah, he, I get, he did get a good scout on the bases um, using a hallucinated scout or what is that thing called? A phoenix? Hallucinated phoenix, right? Yeah, so, but coming to that conclusion that he should charge, that, you know, Caster's macroing up, I don't know, that's that's a tough that's a tough call to make. Uh, now he's swinging around. I think he's maybe looking for the pylon. Maybe. Um, or going around the army to because Caster sneak past. is about to scout this army with that probe, and so Caster knows something's up. He's pulling back. Mm -hmm. 
comes to Oracle to do that stupid thing where oh, I, I swore he was going to do that stupid thing where he gets to like see where Tower. Oh, he's totally going to do it. He's totally going to do it. Oh, yep. there, he Wait. did it. Wait, he, he got sight of the rocks. You can do that sight um, thing to the rocks. Wait, what? What the heck? Oh, okay. Tower was harassing uh, workers with the phoenixes, so. Totally missed that. I was fascinated by the rocks. And oh, sniped a uh, oracle and ooh. and wow, lost one of his phoenix there. He's about to lose a or catch his oh. wood ray. And this is a really bad spot for Teller. He's like catch has got a really good um, concave. No, and that income, you can really see where the difference was made when uh, as soon as Caster saw that, that that push was coming, he just beefed his army right up. Oh, right. There's this one stalker just asking for it. I'm sure that one zealot in the back is really pissed off. <laughs> it's like, guys, walk faster. Um, no, seriously, we gotta get away. <laughs> All right, so Teller needs to be making more shit. He needs to make a lot more shit. Um, he's got, uh, looks like he's got four warp gates, or he's got six warp gates that are ready, so he should be warping in more units in the back, but okay, he's finally doing that. Um, right, but I mean, he's still he's still just behind in the income count, and his army count is, is right. far lower. But with, enough, with good force fields, he might be able to pull it off. No. Oh no! Caster so. got his force fields off too. I mean, first, and those zealots can't get in there. And oh, sad day, sad day Caster for Tyler. Thrust himself in there, and it's this, this is probably game right here, unless Tyler pulls out some like miracle hacks or something. Right. Yeah, and I don't think he's gonna. Tyler is a gentleman after all. But I noticed that his uh, little symbol there, again, is asymmetrical. So I don't know what that's all about. Sometimes it's symmetrical, sometimes it's asymmetrical. Ah, <laughs> Caster's has the symmetrical one. And Tyler's the same one, but... I guess uh, symmetry wins the day, and so Caster wins game one. All right, well, let's move on to game two, then. Okay.